your uh, penultimate comedian of the first half is called Raymond uh, Ekubie. So uh, Raymond Ekubie. Sorry if I fucked that up. Let's start there. Please do that. Raymond Ekubie. I got that eventually, man. Hello. Uh, my name's Black. I mean, no. <laughs> Sorry. My name's Ray. Imagine if my name was Black. None of my white friends could ever introduce me in any social situation. <laughs> Can you imagine? This is Penelope. This is Theodore. And then this is Black. <laughs> Racist motherfucker. No, uh, I recently broke up. So uh, now I'm forced to date. Fucking, is anyone dating? Shit, isn't it? Is, uh, does anyone feel like the apps Hinge, Bumble, and the rest of them have a personal agenda against you <laughs> where they're trying to mug you off by showing you pictures of people that will never, ever, <laughs> ever fuck you? Like, <laughs> like, come on, look at your face. You've got a mirror. <laughs> Fucking hell. People often ask me, uh, you know, what my type is which is a very flattering uh, question. Because <laughs> you're assuming I've got enough income in traffic and I can confirm that's not the case. Uh, my type consists of two things, really. The first one is uh, willing, because, <laughs> you know, consent is sexy. Consent turns me on. You go, girl, I heard you, yeah, consent. Got a little bit fucking TED talky there, didn't it? <laughs> the second, my second type is um, alive, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I mean, Greenwich, we all use the 10 second rule, don't we? Do we? Do we not? Do we? This guys, it's a comedy club, come on. <laughs> she was an organ donor. <laughs> there we go, there we go. Uh, <laughs> I like I I I I I, uh, I book uh, music festivals in Holland, so I travel between. And recently, I went to Holland, and and as you can tell, the dating's not going well. So, when I got to Holland, I turned on my apps, uh, my Bumble and my Hinge, and to my surprise, they went crazy because it turns out there's no black people in Amsterdam. <laughs> Seriously, I was like a rare Pokemon. They were like, "Come here, you black motherfucker! Let me get you." Crazy, man, it's crazy. <laughs> Fucking, I, I, actually, I actually ended up speaking to a girl in IRL. It was funny as shit. Like, I went up to her, and I was trying to be nice. I gave her a compliment and said, hey, you, you look very beautiful. And she said the weirdest thing. She goes, I'm not just beautiful, I'm also smart as well. <laughs> because can you imagine if I just went up to her, I went, hey, you're very beautiful, and I've got this equation because I only fuck girls who know the square root of pi, you know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, dating's going well. <laughs> um, yeah, I broke, so yeah, I broke up with my ex-girlfriend. She was a bit younger than me. Um, she, was, uh, she was cool, trendy. She was in this, into this thing called kink. Is anyone into the kink scene? Make some noise if you're a kinky. <laughs> so we got some freaks and we got a whole lot of liars in this room. <laughs> I see you freaks. <laughs> yeah, she was trying to she was trying to make me do some all kind of bad shit and like we did loads of shit, but like there was a point where we went different ways because uh she wanted to have a threesome and I wasn't that into it. Firstly because I'm socially awkward and I'm not a fan of group work. That's not, <laughs> not in school, why in bed? Doesn't doesn't make sense. All right, all right. This next one is gonna sound misogynistic, but it's not. So whoever's got <laughs> Whoever's got the cards, wait until I get to the punchline before you call me. <laughs> wait until I get there. So the second, one of the second reasons I, we, I didn't want to have a threesome is because my idea of a threesome and her idea of a threesome were totally different. Mine was wholesome, traditional, girl, girl, boy. You know, <laughs> family oriented, <laughs> you know. Her idea of a threesome Totally different, disgusting. Can any one of you good people guess what her idea of a threesome was? Yeah, someone said it here. Guy, guy, girl. But ladies, that's not a threesome, that's a gangbang. <laughs> and before you call me a misogynist, hold up, 
Hold up, before you can call me a misogynist. That's not my definition. I'm just going by what the Metropolitan Police say, because they say... <laughs> they say if you get more than two black men in a room, it's a gang. <laughs> <laughs>